Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon or morning? Yeah, morning or evening <laughs> or whatever, yeah, wherever, <laughs> where you are located. Wherever we are. Is the is the Aries framework uh, setting up an agent and issuing credentials? Is that done by Indico or is that someone else? The thing that's happening like next week. You mean the the workshop? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's done by Ariel, Kareem, and Baron. So uh, uh, two from us at Animo, and then Ariel uh, uh, also does it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I certainly won't be able to attend uh, because I'm on vacation next week. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, uh, with parent Kareem and Ariel, the workshop should be in good hands. Um, all right, I think we can get started. Um, is the meeting recording? It is. Uh, all right, so welcome everyone to the Arizona Jasket Working Group call of July 6th. Yeah, uh, I need to remind you to abide by the high pledge code of conduct and the antitrust policy. Um, if you'd like to add yourself to the tennis list, feel free to do so. Um, I posted the link in the chat. Um, Anyone new here that would like to introduce themselves? I can recognize all names, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so for today, I don't have a lot on the agenda. Um, so um, we can see if there's issues or PRs or things people would like to discuss and otherwise we can keep it short today. Um, I think it's also more vacation period and uh, uh, yeah, there's been less going on uh, last week, but I know uh, I saw some work on the DitConf 2 stuff and Ariel had left a lot of comments on issues and stuff. So maybe we can um, cover some of those. Um, are there any status updates? What's the buy hold call this week? Uh, yes. Didn't have, we didn't have a lot of new things, but uh, a couple of things uh, that I will mention is uh, uh, we're making some changes to the scanning flow. And there's some conversations around uh, Go codes. And I don't know if there's a potential opportunity for some of those Go codes logic move to AFJ. Um, we are introducing the idea or the con new concept of ephemeral connection. So a connection gets deleted when a transaction or operation is completed. Um, the main driving force for that is the QR code density, um, make that is smaller uh, when, you, when we're using connectionless per request. Um, and I also attended the Aries community call. There was some code about, some talk about the peer did upgrade to V did come you did v2 or v3. Um, I've added an issue to Ares framework JavaScript. Uh, I feel like the they wanted the frameworks to to implement those upgrades in, in about a kind of a, a month framework time frame, but they were asking what is the time frame possible. 
and we said one a month a month <laughs> we were not sure but but yeah yeah i think it's if i'm not wrong it's it should not be so complicated to add this to afj right Timo, what do you what do you think i yeah i just created no, I that so. issue there so i don't forget but yeah there's not a lot of details so but who understands more than me please update <laughs> Cool. Uh, yeah, is, is, is anyone willing to pick this up in the coming months? Yeah, maybe maybe I can I can do it, but I, I, I will have to study a little bit how it works. And, and yeah. Do it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can help you uh, with the implementation or like guide you uh, uh, if you have questions. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, and for the uh, thermal connection, like make your code smaller. Have you uh, considered uh, using shortened URLs? Uh, yes, we do not want to use shortened URL service for. Um, there is a possibility of some privacy concerns around it. Whatever service is using now have the ability of uh, track uh, again IPs and no what is happening. So the shortening URL was, we decided not to pursue that side. And it'd be another piece of infrastructure that would need to be maintained and supported. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, I think um, uh, because it, when you, like you connect to the HTTP endpoint of the issuer or like the inviter anyway, so uh, fetching um, a, um, document from their service, I would say doesn't make tracking more possible because you already are connecting to their servers uh, and domain uh, for creating the DITCOM connection. Um, and um, we've in um, cases just integrated it directly into the agent. So the agent receives the, the connection request. It also handles the um, uh, it handles the um, like the URL shortener. I think um, in a lot of cases you probably want to separate it, but I think for easy um, deployment, uh, uh, yeah, I think that has worked for us also quite well. Sorry, I don't understand the suggestion. Then, so you're saying agent is in charge of the URL shortening, the yeah. issuer verifier. Uh, well, no, the, the creator of the invitation. Okay, so this is a mobile wallet, so they don't have a HTTP server. So we need to stand up like a mediator service, something on the side. Okay, yeah. Um, so if you have a mediator, uh, there is a... Um, um, an RS RFC I wrote specifically for this. And this is how I did it when I wanted to create invitations on the device that were shortened um, um, is, uh, is it in here? Or oh, maybe it was never merged. Uh, um, Uh, I can't find it. If you if, if you are talking about the URL shortener protocol, it's yeah, did come did come what's ah, Yeah. Okay. Shorten. Ah, here. Yeah. So, uh, this is a um, RFC I wrote where you can use another agent to shorten it for you. Uh, and in um, our case, we used it with a mediator. So the mediator, uh, you need to contact the mediator anyway to register the key, but you also um, um, request the mediator to shorten the uh, uh, URL for you. And then you get back like a shortened URL which the mediator um, uh, then, holds for you and there's like a requested validity seconds. Um, does 
this does add some like tracking possibilities, um, but you are already sending the um, the key to um, um, to the the mediator, and when the other uh, device wants to send a message to your device, it has to connect with their device to the mediator anyway. So um, yeah, still all the connections between the servers are already uh, made because the, 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 the other device is already connecting to your device's mediator. So um, having, that, having it resolve a, another object from it, I think doesn't in, uh, introduce too much new things. Uh, but yeah, maybe something to consider. Okay, I'll look into that one. Again, I don't even care. Thank you. Uh, cool. Um, all right, then uh, agenda. Does anyone have anything specific for the agenda they would like to discuss? No, I think I think it it, it, it would be nice to to review uh, some issues and and PRs just to because that there are some some PRs that it, that are open for a long time like for instance the one of for, for revocation so maybe we can we can try to move forward or or or, or discard some of them I I don't know yeah sure. Um... I think we can start with some ones that are really open, really long. Um, this PR, yeah, February 9th already to add concurrency uh, config for process messages concurrently. I think the changes were quite simple. Um, yeah, uh, instead of like waiting for the previous message to be uh, processed, we, um, um we allow them to be uh processed uh concurrently if you uh add this config parameter um it seems i think yeah do we think this should be merged or uh i'm a bit out of like what uh it was specifically about yeah uh, <laughs> maybe we, we will we will need to to re review it or just to see what what's missing there yeah okay anyone want to take that down But okay, right. I will, I, I will, I will, I will do a, a review. For the next yeah, time. I can, I can also do it. Otherwise, you don't have to pick pick them up, uh, uh, all of them. Okay, I'll take it. You can take the next one. Um, okay, out of band proof proposal. Um, good addition, I think. Um. Yeah, I think we also need to look into it again and see exactly what the concerns were with this uh, PR. Yeah, okay, I think the, the problem is that we look without connection ID, which in some cases we shouldn't do, um, which I think can lead to issues if I send you a message with for a specific threat ID, I can like hijack a exchange, I think. Um, so yeah, I think um, wanted to keep this on hold until we have like properly integrated connection lists with out of band, which we've never done. Um, so maybe we can merge this with, with some small uh, tweaks, um, I think. All right. Um, let me see, do, I can also pick this one of them. I think I, uh, I left 
left comments on both of these. And uh, okay. I can't. Right. Um, yeah, this is, I think, on hold because the presentation exchange uh, work is on hold. Um, we have been integrating with it, um, but there were issues in the PEX library that really prevented it from being integrated. Um, so I think um once those are addressed i think they're currently being worked on in the in the presentation exchange library uh we can integrate it and then we can also integrate this um yeah so i think we can keep it open for a while now so we don't lose okay. the uh the thing uh yeah we don't lose the i think it would be a good test to add okay um this one um yeah a lot of good changes in here um i think we need to update it to integrate with some of the latest runner updates um and Yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I'm not sure if Anchor is still going to pick this up. So maybe, uh, um, yeah, we need to take it over and get it merged because I think there are a lot of good things in here, like things that will, are going to break soon if we don't merge this and it updates it to all the latest versions. Um, yeah. If we, if, if we can add commits there, I maybe I can, I can pick them up, pick them up and and just do yeah. the commits on the, on the branch and... Okay, yeah, that I think, can we... Um, it's from checked, you can't push yeah. to uh, organization things, so you would need to fork their, um, their PR. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it will be just a matter of asking Anchor to, to accept the PR and, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, this one is open. I just never finished it. I don't, yeah. I um, wanted to add a role to the credential and proof records because it's sometimes very hard to determine which role uh, belongs to a record, especially if they're in state done or like um, whatever state. Um, but I just didn't finish it. So, something I will have to pick up at some point. Um, this one. Um, um, yeah, so using a multi-use invitation multiple times. Um, so I already connect, received a multi-use invitation and I want to use it again. Um, the change being made here is to um, um, remove the check um, if we have already uh, connected to this ID. And uh, that allows it to just like create another out of band record for the ID. Um, my concern with this approach was that, as I understand it, that um, IDs need to be like message IDs need to be unique within the context of an agent. Um, and this breaks that model. 
uh, because we basically have multiple out of band records with the same ID then, um, which can get uh, tricky. Um, so um, I think if we want to reuse the same uh, invitation multiple times, we need to think about it like, okay, what's the, the impact of that or the implications? Um, yeah, I know, Ariel, you had done some research into this the last time, right? Or Yes, I think the the only the only issue would be on the the mediation uh, recipient or, uh, module because uh, if you have this uh, uh, an, an invite or something like that, uh, it it will it, it will try to 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 find a single. Uh, connection from that invitation so uh, it would break as you as you say uh, but if we change the logic there we should not have any any particular issue i mean <clears throat> according to what i understood nothing from this from the spec are uh, is preventing to have <clears throat> two two connections uh, made or start bootstrap it from the same invitation. So technically, it's not incorrect to 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 remove this check. Um, and also, sometimes what something that that happens to me sometimes in in, in our app is that you scan a, a QR code with an invitation, and if you are not connected to internet or or, or you have a, a problem then uh, you will have a uh, an error and 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 if you if you are going to scan the same qr again you you have to sh make sure that delete the the out of band record that has been created for that because otherwise the framework will reject uh, uh, we will not allow you to 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 receive again this invitation i mean to, with with the same qr code so you you will need to ask the other party to create a new QR code. And sometimes it is, it's something that is not so, I know it It will need, if you don't manually delete the out of the record, you will have uh, several records that maybe are, are, are not used, but I don't know. I think it should, it's not it's not bad to have this this uh, this change in the in the framework. I mean, uh, but as as I said, we will need to also modify the initialization of the mediation module because uh, it will fail if we if we have uh, if we have more than one invitation. Uh, Clisho wants wants to say something. Um, I have a question over something that you say that when you delete a connection, the out of band record still remains, so they're separate. I I think so. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we just probably need to make some changes in by phone then. So deleting a contact, uh, is it recommended to delete? both the connection and the out of band record should be fully removed? Um, it depends on, as a holder, probably yes. Um, because um, e you, as a holder, probably yes, because there's always a single connection tied to an out of band record, but as like, a, or like a, if you are the creator of a multi use invitation, for example, you can have one out of band record with thousands of connections. Um, and it could be that you remove one connection, but you don't want to remove all the other uh, connections or the out of band invitation, like new people can right. still connect to it. Um, so in that case, no, but in, in, in like the case of like I, created a single use invitation or I yeah. received a single use invitation or like received an invitation, then it makes sense to also remove the out of band track. 
Okay. Is there anything on the as a flag or when deleting a connection or those are two separate steps? Separate steps because you can also um, have um, I can receive outbent uh, invitations and reuse connections, so there could actually be like a lot of out of band records also connected to a connection um, itself. Uh, so we could add some logic to remove associated connection records, but it yeah, it gets a bit complicated, I think. Okay, I, I just think we probably need to clean that up again from a mobile holder point of view. The user experiences, they think they're deleting their contact, so therefore everything should be gone. And it sounds like this out of band records is staying around. Uh, leftover somehow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's something to say to just remove the out of band record directly after you've created the connection because you don't need it anymore. Um, so maybe that's also okay. something we should advertise more. All right. So upon completing the connection, the out of band record can be purged as well. There's no need to keep them around no. unless does it if there is a if there is an if there is a multi-use connection or a, um, another out of band that call for a reuse connection, do you need that original out of band invitation? No, uh, only only if you create a multi-use invitation. Yeah. Um, the multi-use invitation will become invalid if you uh, delete the out of band record. Yeah. Because basically, okay. the out of band record is the multi-use invitation. Yeah, if you're the one creating the invitation, yes, I get it. But if you're yeah. the one yeah. consuming the invitation, then it's relevant. Yeah, then it can be removed. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, which brings to your question, do you know if there's any plan for AFJ to maybe create a API docs is in addition to the guides that already exist, which are pretty good? Yeah, it's on the plan, but like not okay. something awesome. we have had spent time on or like I'm not sure if we have time to spend on it in the near future, I think. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Ariel, hijacked the side no, of the conversation the really... a little bit. <laughs> no, no problem. So yeah, I, I, I think we can, we can, uh, it would be good to, to remove this check, but also, but, but we, we will need to make sure that that uh, the the mediation module is is, a, is, a, is properly updated. Uh, if, if, uh, what's he called? The three, uh, Patrick, uh, uh, can pick it up. Can, can you address this, uh, Ariel yeah, yeah, yeah. or? Yeah, yeah, no problem. It, it, it should be uh, quick actually. Cool. Sounds good. Um, this one. Yeah, I think. Big PR. Yes, and I, I address most or, or all of the, the feedback you, you gave in May, I think. Yeah. Um, there are still some questions, I think. Uh, but uh, it would be nice if you can if you can look at them uh, because I think you you started doing a review when when we were at the the, the dice in 
in Zurich, Zurich. But you <laughs> you didn't finish it, I think. Yeah, so I think uh, I, I finished it. Uh, so I think. Uh, oh, okay. So, so if it if, if you consider it finished, maybe I can I can do those uh, small modifications and. Yeah, we can probably continue like that. I mean, it we will be using only this uh, manual way of of or external way of handling. Uh, the indexes or uh, and that stuff, and maybe in a future we can incorporate some automatic stuff in the in the framework if if needed. Um... Okay, and does it introduce any breaking changes besides to the interface of the? Uh... No, no. The, the only issue is that if you have um, if you have a a, a registry uh, an, an unaccessible registry implementation, you will have to update it because now you are required to to also support these uh, methods or include the met methods for revocation registry definition and, uh, and yeah uh, which was something um, that wasn't present there before i think we uh made that um experimental right so that it can have breaking changes uh you see is there i made a pr for that right or it's probably this one um so it's the anocrats rs module Oscar, BBS, checked. The W2C credential surface, in VDR. Oh, so I didn't add one to implementing your own registry, I think, uh, or maybe on the uh, updating guides. Uh, okay, so I added it here. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Oh, and it's also added here. Okay. 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 So that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Um, cool. Um, this one is a book I fixed to make the document loader work in Node 18, um, but the CI now fails. Um, so something I have to look into. Uh, okay. Um, this one is except and ready to merge. So 
I think it's just a simple fix to take the, the raw property uh, into account in the uh, request. Well, then we actually got something merged today. Um, parent, this PR, uh, is parent still here? He isn't. No, oh, he, he left as, as soon as we, it started with the PR review, so so maybe <laughs> it's something related to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So um, we have actually incorporated these changes from this PR in a uh, in the wallet we built ourselves, but uh, there is like it's dependent on a. Uh, PR that is in here um, that we're also using. And I think, yeah, so we need to wait for this to be uh, fully worked. So I can look into this again and, and try to get this uh, merged. Okay. Then this one uh, is Artem is on the call today. Let me see. So this splits up the demo into two He's cases. <laughs> yeah. Ah, cool. Um, main and Bitcoin V2. Uh, I think, yeah, we took a really long time to review this PR. Um, I left a comment. Um, Uh, yeah, so I left a comment um, that uh, I think it would be easier maybe if we can keep the same demo and then have, uh, 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 yeah, just add like different features to it. So uh, did Conv1, did Conv2, so that you don't have to run completely different demos for different cases. Um, yeah, but what do people think of it? I don't know for Art and B, do you have any comments on this PR or? Um, actually, uh, hello everyone. Uh, as I replied, the intention was uh, of splitting the demo into parts. It's like there are some uh, models uh, which are optional. Uh, for, for example, Indie wallet and Ascar wallet, and you cannot just uh, integrate both into single demo. Uh, and, and in order to demonstrate uh, this capability, we need to create separate demos and similar for ledgers. And uh, this is why I decided to split uh, Ditcom and one and Ditcom V2 also into independent demos. So in future, we can create new demos easily. Cool. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm I'm fine in general with splitting it up. I think it's just uh, um, like if we can prevent it by maybe adding like just if you add a feature that's only available in in some demo, we say like this is not supported within the SDK or or something. I just um, it's always hard to decide. I think where to split demos uh, because if you're are you going to do it on Bitcoin versions or are you going to do it then on credential formats or uh, exchange layers, Bitcoin versus OpenID. And, and then you uh, uh, get a lot of different demos that, uh, yeah, uh, may be hard to do, but uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with it. If, if, I don't know if anyone else has comments on this. Yeah, I think, I think it's uh, the, the approach uh, exposed by Artemis is, is okay. And my only concern, but which is not related to Artem's work, is actually because if I don't know if you have seen that I have reviewed the problems on the on the demo, 
in general. And it, it seems the demo as it is right now, it's not working fine. Uh, I think it's related to the problem that we have on the performance for RefNAPI because you will need to patch the ref nappy in order to make it work properly. Uh, so, because I, I, I try to run the demo following the steps we, we said in the readme. And if we, I mean, if we do the, 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 the Git repo clone and the yarn install and that stuff, it will not patch the ref nappy because this is something something that is working only on CI automatically. So it will work very slowly. And well, you will have those those problems of, of timeouts and, and what has been reported some time ago with, uh, with these uh, guys. Uh, one of your su suggestions, I think, was to move the demo to another repo. So yeah. maybe maybe if we are having more and more um, uh, subsets of, of testing or of demos, maybe we can do something uh, specific or, 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 or a specific repo for, for demos and, and to show different flows and and lectures and and well maybe we can do some, something like that in the future yeah i think having a separate demo uh, repo for the demo or maybe some example flows and that kind of stuff i think that i think that's good uh, because then it we can really simplify the whole setup you also have to do for the demo you don't have to need to have all the complex dependencies um uh, and, and the issues we have here. Um, and then we can just make the demo repository node 18 only. Um, uh, and I think, yeah, that would probably fix a lot of these issues. And also maybe, I, I, I imagine that some people will, will start from the demos to set up their projects. And if we are, we are already using this ref nappy patch and that stuff, they will not have uh, these issues because you know i know we, we we mentioned this in the on the on the documentation and and, and the guides but usually uh, well you know we are <laughs> usually people try to, to to test the code and and will and will only read the documentation if they have a problem uh, so yeah. if we can if we can prevent them to have the problem it will be better i think yeah that makes sense um okay anyone objects to uh extracting the demo from this repo i don't necessarily object i just want to make a comment that you might also add complexity to maintain the demo um because as the the code the api or a new version evolves now there's an extra effort to keep that demo updated, and which might be already the case that it's already um, out of date for that reason. But um, again, just want to raise the risk that the demo becomes kind of afterthought and it will just quickly become abandoned where, which I've seen with other projects, kind of what happens. So it depends how much you want to keep it in line with the code. And, and if someone is trying maybe the main branch for AFJ, maybe it has latest features and they want to demo that one. Now they have to go back to another repository. How do we keep those demo in sync with the features that are available in the main or in the features that were available in a, in a previous release? That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, fair, fair comment. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's kind of already like that. I mean, I don't think the demo is working for the past couple of months. Uh, it, it probably should be hooked into the CICD or kept up to date because because certainly when I came into the project, the first thing I did was look at the demo to try to you know get an idea of how to 
how to do stuff and and uh there there i just got a different mistake every time someone was fixed <laughs> so it was a little frustrating putting in another repo doesn't yeah. uh you know ma makes it a little harder too to yeah so it, it maybe I mean, what's missing is that demo, as you mentioned, that that demo has to be CI, CD, and tested as part of the build flow. That's another test that it needs to be passed. Yeah. But, 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 but do you think, Timo, that we can run the, the RefNAPI patch if we put it into the resolutions of this package.json? Or... I mean, in the, in the uh, we could maybe by like the problem is that in um, I think there's a few problems. Um, we could add it as a dependency and not with like the resolution. Um, the problem then is that the package is published to only work with node 18. So if you try to then run yarn install in the whole repo in, in, in node 16, it will give, I think, an error or like your node engine is not compatible with this package and then it can install it. Um, if you were to bypass that issue, um, we could, I think, do it manually in the demo with a resolution um, field or something, or we could just like check that if you're not in node 18, we throw an error either way, like, and um, uh, we create an alias for the ref nappy package. So it, it always used like the your patch version. I think that that should be possible, but we it would require some work and changes to the packages and how we set things up. Um, yeah, I do think um there are some things to consider here maybe some potential benefits with extracting it is um that um we currently now have to keep it up to date with every um every change in um the repository which is good but if we don't do it it's it's there's a lot more potential to break it well if you extract it um it can never be broken basically uh because you always use a version of afj and uh the only thing it can is that it becomes outdated um but i'm not sure what's worse an outdated or a broken demo broken broken is worse <laughs> I, I think in my opinion uh, outdated is like oh we don't do that anymore when you ask a question but broken is like what did i do wrong as especially as a beginner coming in uh it's hard to tell whether the error is like mine when i'm adjusting the demo or or if it's the demo itself that's that's erroring out yeah yeah it's like okay it's like the the, the the docs right right it's like if we wanted to to have to, to keep the, the the docs in in the same repo because we want to make sure that it is always up to date but it's it is not necessarily true because we are not running the demo on the CI CD step. So it happens what is happening right now. <laughs> that is even if it's there, it's it's broken. So yeah. But I but yeah, I totally understand what 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 uh, what Klesio says. It's it's true that we will need to 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 keep an eye on, on, on other repo as well. So yeah it will be a little bit, a bit more of work, but uh, I think yeah. it's a good trade-off. I mean, I, I know when when we make like a new uh, big release, I also need to update the docs at migration guides to the uh, documentation website. So I think updating the demo, it's probably not that much work. Um, and then we would have at least a stable demo that doesn't break with every commit because I think running it in CI is quite complex because it's a CLI tool. Um, so then we would have to write tests for a CLI, an interactive CLI uh, kind of interface, uh, which I'm not sure is worth the complexity.
Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, I would then propose still to yeah uh, extract it um, and that we uh, update it for like because it shouldn't even break between like zero four one zero four two so it should only break whenever um, whenever um, a a breaking change release is made which is like not often uh, currently. Um, let me see, is this, this can now be just a comment. Um, okay. Um, then Cool. Anyone that would like to pick up this issue? Okay, then uh, for now, add this one here. And then uh, someone can pick it up uh, when we have the time. Um, let me see. Any PRs we haven't discussed yet? Uh, we discussed this one. Oh, wait, we didn't finish this one. Um, but I think. Uh, okay, then I think uh, we can uh, get this merged. Uh, can you resolve the conflicts, Artem? Sure. Cool, thank you. Uh, no, not this one, this one. Um, Uh, Ariel, any comments on this one? Do we need to discuss anything about this PR? Yeah, well, I I, I did a, a branch to address this, uh, this what, what we discussed uh, last week. And maybe we, you, you, you can open open there this, the, the link. You will see the changes. So what I don't like about, about this approach is that we are, I mean, the, the, the code is quite straightforward to read and to, I mean, it's just a, a few lines of code, but what I don't like is that we are, we are, co uh, we are having the Anon create API and it's config as a dependency of these services. Uh, so it's not something that, I mean, it's not something uh, natural, I will say, right? And also the, I, I think that it's, it, it would be more uh, straightforward to, if if we can have this uh, this auto create link secret configuration 
as a configuration of the of Anon Crest RS or in the SDK uh, directly. So in that in that way, we will not be dependent on the on the Anon Crest module, but only on our own configuration. Because we, we are using a, a, a config parameter from Anon Crets from another module. So if, if Anon Crets module config is say something and we, we are, it's up to us to, to implement it or not. No, no one will force us to, to do what the config, the, 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 the Anon Crets module config says. I mean, we, if we, if we create another implementation of an uncred, uh, I don't know, an uncred anything, C, C++, I don't know. And, and, and we, we create a, a, another module and we are not uh, following this, uh, this auto link secret parameter, nobody will know about that. So, I don't know. Yeah. I think it, from a user perspective, I would say it makes more sense to have it in the Anocrats uh, module. Do you also think that, or? I, for me, it's, it will be the same because we will need to, to instance both an Uncrest module and an Uncrest RS module. So using the configuration in one or another, it will be something that will be always, it will be on this on the same constructor in, in, in the end. Yeah, yeah. I think the default value is true. So probably most people won't have to uh, deal with this config option ever. Anyone has an opinion on this? I, I see we're over time. So uh, if oh, anyone has yeah, like sorry. strong objection or like agreement for either of the two. Uh, I, and again, did we identify this? This is really, I don't think we're too opinionated where they need this to go. It's just a matter of should be work out of the box. <laughs> Uh, but if you have any orientation guidance, yeah, please uh, uh, provide us a comment and I can talk to Jason about it. Okay, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, both uh, are fine for me. So uh, I think your approach uh, uh, um, is, is, is good to me as well, uh, Ariel. Um, okay, uh, let's, well, yeah, we're out of time. Um, I think we almost got to all of the PRs, um, except for the, yeah, the, is I it, think the, the, the Oscar only wallet. Works. Yeah, the, the in-memory in wallet yeah. creation, it, it's a very simple one. It's okay. It's just to 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 fix the issue that uh, Charles uh, found some time ago that we cannot use the in in memory wallet for Ascar. So okay, I'll uh, take a look at it uh, and review it. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thanks everyone uh, for joining today and. I'll see you, or, or I'm at, at vacation next week. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'll post in Discord. Maybe somebody else will take over, but I think we'll uh, just cancel for next week because there's like less going on these, these weeks uh, either way. So then we can just skip uh, the, the meeting for a week. All right. Um, all right. Thanks everyone. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.